Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. And here we are about eight weeks into our project. And I have my fuselage mold finished. Got it all bolted together. Got all my edges sanded. Got all them rough ends taken care of. So you don't get stabbed. That's the seam in my cloth. I just hit that with my sander to get rid of the, all the sharp edges. I hate getting poked when I'm picking these things up. You know, I picked up a box of them, of a uh, hundred of them bolts and wing nuts. And I hate the, almost all of them is on this airplane. Can't believe there's that many, but there is. And uh, been sitting back thinking. You know, I told everybody that I wanted to make a fuselage as soon as I had this mold done. And uh, I really do. But as you can see, the shop ain't really that big. It won't take long at all to fill this thing up with fuselages and uh, not leave me no room to work. And also, before I join my fuselage halves, I have to have these two main bulkheads installed. These two bulkheads, everything mounts to them. The wings mount to them, the landing gear mounts to them, and uh, we're going to make them out of a quarter inch aluminum so they'll be nice and tough. And also, I want to get the wings mounted on them and get them working so we ain't been over this thing trying to work on it and uh, get everything working. So I think that'd be the best. So does Dad. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang this fuselage up on my ceiling on its side and kind of get it out of the way from now. I'm going to hang me some chain from the ceiling on some hooks. And I'm just going to drill a couple holes in these edges. And I'm just going to hang it up and let it cure out and uh, get on these wings. I got a couple wings I got to build. There's my stab. I'm just going to make one stab mold because it's symmetrical and uh, I could use it on right and left. The wing, we have to have a right one, we have to have a left one. And uh, I want to get on them wings. I want to get them wings slammed out. So we have all our molds. And then when we're ready to make a few slaws, Dad will have my aluminum bulkheads made. And my gear will be mounted to them. And uh, he's already got the screw jack mechanism made to uh, open and close the wings. It's really pretty amazing. He took a piece of pipe and cut a slot down and put a piece of all thread in there with bearings and going to hook up a motor to it. I was quite shocked. It looked pretty good. But uh, that's really a piece of cake. We're on the home stretch now. And uh, I got my nacelle back out. I'm getting ready to get that whoop next. I want to get that. Another coat of primer. It'll be ready for my panel lines. And uh, a little bit of sand. And it's pretty close. But I'm going to kind of take it easy next week and just sit here and work on that little nacelle and um, get it ready to mold and probably mold it next and then get on my wings and I'm just gonna let that fuselage cure out you know and I've heard an awful lot about it well ain't that fuselage gonna warp ain't that fuselage gonna warp the main thing is if uh, you was gonna put a put your wood on there and it wanted to warp it would just warp around that wood unless you just just sculpted it up everywhere then it just weigh a ton I believe the best thing to do is when you're not using my mold, the mold, just bolt it right back on the plug. And uh, it, how is it going to work? It will never warp. I'm, I'm not worried a bit about it. I'm just going to hang that dude up. That'll probably be its permanent home over there. And when I'm not using my molds, I'll put my plug right back in there. I'll put all my bolts back in it and I'll hang it up. And that dude will be fine. 25 years from now, I'll be able to pull a mold off of that. Or pull a plug. Pull a fuselage. There I am getting tongue tied again. But, uh, that's where I'm at. And uh, I will keep you guys informed. But uh, I'm going to get that fuselage hanged up. I might just take me a couple day break. I got my buddy coming over. We're going to haul a load to the dump. I'm going to get my shop all cleaned out. Get me a jig set up for my wings and uh, I'm going to get the things whooped out. I'm going to go through them wings like a freight train. 
it ain't going to take me long at all. But uh, that's where I'm at. So, any questions, feel free to holler. And uh, we will see you in the shop.